right before this video starts, I thought I'd record a little something and just kind of big, give a big shout out to my friend Cheyenne. She did a bunch of channel art for me and uh, she did a little intro video for me too, which I'm going to play right now. But if you like her stuff, go check her out. I'm going to tag her channel or I'm going to put in her channel in the description of this video too. Thanks Cheyenne. Love you. to my channel. Uh, first and foremost, before the video starts, obviously I got a haircut. Um, I've been growing my hair out for the wedding and I've never had long hair and so it is like such a blessing for me to just chop it all off and do something like funky and edgy. So awesome. I know it doesn't match the nice channel art that Cheyenne did, but we're still going to be using it anyway because it's kind of who I am in my natural state, you know? Um, but today we're here to talk about something else. Um, this is another shopping video with me. So we're going to talk about um, Pokemon purses and actually we will be talking about these that I got um, a really long, well a really long time ago they were a gift from my mother and you can tell that they're a couple years old because the, um, the most recent Pokemon on there is like from Gen 6, I think it's Punkaboo. So you can tell it's kind of old but I think you can still find it on Amazon if you really want that one and I'll be posting a video of like just a panoramic shot of what everything looks like in there. Um, but today I thought we would do, um, it's kind of like a little branding. I'm going to be looking at purchase from, purses from Loungefly just because I feel like they're of really good quality. Um, they are slightly more expensive, but I think, you know, that purse is pretty old and it's just like brand new. Um, so I think it's really good quality, kind of like mimicking the last video about, you know, making sure it's like style and merch, but it's also substantive. So that's awesome. Um, we are just going to take a look on the Loungefly website, and here I am right now. Um, they do a bunch of different brands, not just Pokemon, but they have like an array of Disney items, um, Marvel, Star Wars, Harry Potter, um, Hello Kitty stuff too, but I'm just going to kind of show you how to do this. So if you want like a specific brand on their website, you literally just go to brands and you can pick the one that's listed right there. I have Pokemon, and you can see they have a banner set up and everything. Um, and I, it looks like the newest stuff they have is like taking some of the more like legendaries from Alola and putting them on like a backpack and wallet. There's one that's literally just like butterflies or butterfly Pokemon on there. Um, there's others for Detective Pikachu too, different Detective Pikachu merch. And this brand is interesting because they really cycle out product. So they kind of do things in seasons and like once they put out something, it's going to be hard to find it later. So it, it follows the whole trend of purses and how purses can be collectible items that, you know, um, increase their value with age. And um, especially if you're a collector out there, I know there's a ton of collectors for fan merch for different um, fandoms, but also this kind of bridges the gap between like people who collect purses for a living and people who collect merch. So it's, it's a fun little intermix between like style and fandom, which again, I think is kind of the overarching brand of this channel at least. Um, but Kiel is still going on. Uh, they have bags and wallets and backpacks and these are kind of good too, especially if you have someone who um, is kind of like looking for their first bag bag or purse purse, but is also young enough to be really into certain fandoms. I mean, not necessarily young enough. There's plenty of adults who are still into um, Pokemon and everything else, but I think for parents who might be watching who might not really know how to help their kids transition from like, uh, you know, you know, children's clothes and icons and graphic images to more adult themes, this could be a good in-between step. Um, and a lot of their products, it's interesting because they have a lot of brand partnerships as well and I'll show you some of them online. Um, but they have their own retail site obviously, but they also sell in other stores and the two that I kind of know of myself um, are in Box Lunch and Hot Topic and we'll each look at a product that, you know, respectively for Box Lunch and Hot Topic that you can't really find on this website. Um, but of course there's a duffel bag and then this very, this one I like, it's very like, um, tattoo, Americana, 
kind of theme and it looks like a lot of those products are going to be on sale. I mean that kind of makes sense since like the new Gen 8 games are going to be out in the fall and there will be more designs to look at um, and more Pokemon to put on their products. So let's just go on the Hot Topic webpage and a lot of stuff's kind of similar. They didn't have too many differences. But the one I found that I kind of like that was different was this like mini pack back, backpack and um, it's like tropical flower print but you can see they have like the Kanto starters and Pikachu on there hidden behind the flowers. And again, I kind of like patterns like this where, um, and I feel like you can find a lot of them at Hot Topic where you can't really see what it is until you get really, really up close. Um, so this is one of those instances too and I think it's always helpful to like look at the inside if you can. So see it looks like a denim material on the inside so yeah just a chill little mini backpack. Um, I'm thinking about doing like merch videos in the future for like Hot Topic specifically or you know box lunch specifically like the stuff they have outside this brand in future videos so if you're interested in that let me know. Um, I also thought I'd pull up Amazon, although I don't necessarily like to shop at Amazon too much just because it's kind of like a controversial website and brand for me. Um, so I only use it when I absolutely have to and like normally that's for things that either A, I can't really find and obviously it's on there, um, or like textbooks for school and stuff just because it's, for me it tends to be one of the cheaper places and I know there's other websites that do student discounts too, but I feel like Amazon's the most like convenient one. Um, but I really wanted to pull this purse out because I thought it was really cool. And it kind of looks like mine, um, but it is literally just, I mean, not in shape. This is obviously a different shape, but this is all the same sort of um, pattern design, but with exclusively ghost Pokemon. And this might be fun to give somebody who is a little bit edgier, um, who really likes ghost Pokemon in general, or maybe they see their favorite one on here. And the pattern's pretty repetitive, so like we saw... Um, Trevenant here, and then I think Trevenant's is slow in the corner here, so the pattern repeats. Um, but it kind of, for me, is like similar to how Dooney and Burke's kind of doing things now. Like, I've never been able to afford a Dooney and Burke purse, period. But they've really getting, they've gotten more kitsch, and they, they do like repetitive patterns of like cutesy things. I know, I think they had a Disney purse. I know they have a Cubs purse, just because my mom's talked about wanting it forever. Um, but they're getting into kitsch. So, this is kind of like a the same sort of experience but like at a discounted cost to what like a, a designer bag would be and I, and I find it really really interesting that a lot of designers now are really trying to pull in that sort of like I don't know if it's younger and millennial or post millennial nostalgia thing that's been happening with branding and marketing forever trying to tap into that audience but not even designers who are supposed to do like really chic and um, like chic slim modern precise designs are really doing more kitsch and um, cartoony and they're really trying to sell their audience and it's, I don't know, fashion is just interesting. If you want a whole video on my take on um, what's going on in the fashion world with like different demographics in the internet, I'll be sure to do a video on that too. Um, but this last one is Box Lunch and I really, really like this store. Um, they have an online store but they also have some stores, um, physical stores as well and a lot of their um, profits go to actually feeding children like in the US so like kids who can't afford to have lunches at school every day um, a lot of the proceeds go towards something like that and I really think it's good to have stores or brands or like predominant brands that also do things like that where they're giving back to the community at least that's important for me it might not be important for everybody but I like that and I thought I would show you this one person this one kind of like drawstring ba bag backpack thing um, that's on their site and it's on sale right now actually if you know you want to cop it for yourself but it looks really really cute it's super pink ice cream everywhere um, if we zoom in it's so like why there's pip flip on there a dedene um, chikorita but they're each on their little ice cream cone I assume that one's ditto but it's very feminine very pink I mean if you're a guy you can rock this too don't let that stop you but it just screams sweet and the inside of the bag is so cute too. I feel like this would be a really good um, transition bag or like a fun bag if you want to go to like a, a, a beach or like if you are Pokemon going and you want to really rub it. I know that's when I normally use my Pokemon purse too, but this one's a little bit more accessible. It's not as clunky as the tote that I have and so it's really, really cute. Um, also on this website they have other stuff too. 
That's fandom. Um, they have a couple more bags. Again, they have the Rhyme City stuff, the Detective Pikachu stuff, since that's the most current. Um, but this one's also really, really cute. It is another sort of backpack type thing. And I just saw this online. This is what kind of like inspired me to do this video because it was on my ads on like Facebook or something. But this is another sort of backpack. It's not as like girly as the other one. This one's pretty gender neutral. Um, but I think this is, the, at least like the shape of it's very, very smart. And I feel like if I was going to class or something, I would definitely rock it. But again, there's the Lash Fly logo. And again, these might be pricier, but they are really durable and they hold up pretty well. And of course the inside's really cute with all the peak shoes on the inside too. But again, um, I would wait. If you're somebody who wants like a variety of product, like a lot of the sites I showed you don't really have a lot of diversity in the product for from Loungefly right now, but I would wait um, until at least the new games are released in the fall and I think more stuff will come up on there, especially since there's a big internet culture already with like memes like with certain Pokemon favorites like Hulu, um, that that will be translated into another fashion relatively soon. Um, but yeah, so that's all that I wanted to show you today. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I know this one's a little bit more streamlined and quick. Just another like little shop with me. We don't get to build our own backpack, unfortunately. That would be great. Um, but I will be linking all the websites and stuff that we looked at today in the description of this video. And um, let me know which ones are your favorites. Let me know which bags you like. Let me know what you would like to see in a Pokemon merch bag. I know, like I mentioned before, I like subtlety. Um, but if you have any other thoughts or comments, feel free to share. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe on this video. And I'll see you again next time. Okay, awesome. Thanks. Bye.